I mean, when it comes to the coolness factor, there's not a lot that's cooler than a 1206 and a moldboard plow. Alright guys, I got good news and I got bad news. The good news is the weather is beautiful and we're going to try out this air seeder today. The bad news is my SD card corrupted and I lost everything I did this morning and the whole previous video. So on the previous video we ended up finishing cutting beans. I'm really bummed that I lost all that footage because I hardly got any video of us actually cutting beans. But we didn't have a whole lot of beans this year and the weather was just perfect this past week. Really couldn't have asked for better weather for cutting beans and we just knocked them all out. We only had 350 acres, but beans are done. Really glad beans are done because beans are kind of a pain in the butt. But anyways, we are moving on. We decided to take today off of harvesting because we've got some other stuff to catch up on. We gotta get this seed tender, or not seed tender, we gotta get this air seeder ready to go because we've got uh, I don't know exactly how many, a couple hundred acres of rye to plant for cover crops. And I spent all morning unblocking all of these tubes. So the previous owner left just enough soybeans in this tank to make a mess. So the bottom of it was kind of a nasty soybean soup and it ended up getting into these air tubes. So what I had to do is take each one of these sensors off. There's two bolts down here that hold the seed cup on, take those two off. Take this hose clamp off, pop this wire loose, which this one is loose now that I look at it. There we go. And take each one of these off and clean them out. That was all part of my footage this morning. It was nasty, it was gross. Nothing like the smell of rotten soybeans in the morning. And I lost that footage. Thankfully that part of it wasn't that interesting, but I got all those cleaned out and I fired up the tractor, turned the blower on, and I'm not getting any air out of these two units. So what I gotta do is, it's number 26 and 27, I'm gonna have to take those off and figure out where it's blocked at. Uh, Dad's going back to get the seed tender, he's done with wheat, we're gonna put some rye in it, weigh it out, put enough to do 30 acres in, and make sure we got this thing set right. So I don't know much about seed tenders, but I think it's safe to say that if you've got a hose plugged up, it's probably not going to plant out of that unit. What do you guys think? I'm just going to go ahead and take these back off like I already did and try and find out where my blockage is actually at. I must have missed this one. There's some junk down in there. So both of these have a nice chunk right in the beginning of, right in the bottom of the seed cup. So that's what I had to do with each one of these, was take them off, dig in there with a screwdriver, and then clean them out with air. So I must have missed those two somehow. All right, I got those unblocked. I'm gonna fire the tractor up, start the blower up, and see if we got air out of those two units now. All right, blower is on number five. Oh yeah, that's better. I really don't like these bags, they make me nervous. 
We're gonna dump one bag into a box, that way we can weigh it out on the seed tender. Our wagon that we would be using obviously doesn't have a scale on it like the tender does. Uh, this rye that we are seeding is cover crops and it's part of the EQIP program which is a program through the NRCS or Natural Resource Conservation Service and it's a program where we get paid it's kind of like a cost share it pays farmers to try out conservation practices so we just the rate that we can use is anywhere from 30 to 90 we decided to go with 60 so we need to set this on 43 based on the rate chart in the manual. It's two per notch or two per line. Yeah, so. All right, we're out here in the field. We're going to get this thing filled up and see what we got. So there's about 33 acres in this field. Um, we're just gonna weigh out enough to do this. That way we know that we have the drill set right. Not too heavy, not too light. We don't know anything about this and we really don't know how it's gonna act. So we wanna make sure we got it set right because we don't wanna be putting out the wrong rate. It's not as critical with cover crops, but once we get to using it for soybeans, we want it to be pretty close. All right, we got her filled up. Let's see what we got here. Turn the blower on. Alright, so it says my right side is not planted. Wonder what that's all about. We forgot to tighten the bolt back up. So the right side of the machine is not driving. I have no idea where I'm supposed to have this thing set. The chart is kind of a guess, and I don't know if this will actually read population right for rye. It'll it'll read for soybeans and larger seed, but I don't really know what it's reading. It's reading like 480,000 right now, and I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be up over a million seeds per acre. So if anybody has any tips on how to set one of these things for rye or wheat, I think wheat and rye are pretty close to the same settings and same seed size. So if you have any tips, leave them down in the comments. So the right side's running out. I'm definitely playing too thick. leveled it off in the tank I think I can finish this round and then go back and put the rest of that box in here so far 
this thing's working really well. I wish I knew if the population reading was accurate. I mean, it's obviously not accurate. If I'm supposed to be planting over a million and I ran out and it's only reading 500,000. But anyways, um, I don't know if there's a setting I can change. But the other thing I'm not real sure about is I don't really know how to lead it out because it takes a while once you drop it in the ground from the seed to get from the tank through the hoses out to the unit. So it takes some time to get up to population. So I don't, I haven't quite got the hang of when to drop it in the ground so that it's planted full rate once I get to the spot that hasn't been planted yet, if that makes sense. So that's kind of why I want to try it with rye first because it's not that critical if I miss a spot or if it's too thick or too thin. It's not a big deal because it's not a harvestable crop. Um, I just need to get that figured out before we start planting soybeans with it. Well, I ran out of seed. I'm gonna walk back up to the house and get the seed tender. We'll just put the rest of that box in. I turned the rate down. Um, I'm gonna have to do some more fine tuning to figure out what rate I actually need to be, or what setting I need to get the right rate. So we'll get it figured out. I love this air seeder. I'm so pumped I got it. On the tractor? A little bit. So I explained it in one of the videos that I lost on that corrupt SD card, but dad's got a patch of hay at his house that the thistles are kind of taking over. It's been in hay for probably 10 years, maybe even more than that, but it's just getting to where it's not a very good hay patch anymore. And it connects to one of the fields that we're planting wheat. So he's going to take the 12 and plow it up and then we'll maybe work it with field cultivator and plant it to wheat. But um, I'm going to hurry up and take this seed tender down and finish that field off. I only got three or four acres left. and park that and then we can go home and see how dad's coming on the plowing because I know how much you guys like vintage equipment and what's better than a 1206 plowing. You guys have seen the 1206 a little bit this is my favorite tractor of all time i think it's the most beautiful tractor ever built but that's just my opinion you know you can argue that if you want but you're wrong so anyways dad's gonna go out here and plow it um like i said this is a hay field thistles and maple trees started taking over so it's not a very good hay field anymore and we don't have as many cows as we used to, or I should say dad doesn't have as many cows as he used to, so we don't need as much hay. So we're gonna tear this up, plant it to wheat. Uh, this hay field used to be part of that field over there um, when I was younger, and we're just gonna kinda turn it back into farm ground again. I mean, row crop ground anyway. Everybody likes moldboard plows. We've taken this tractor to the half century of progress and ran tool a couple times. Um, both times it broke down, maybe because it's red or maybe because it's old, but still a great tractor. Love that tractor. It does a great job on this five bottom plow. It's a 720 model, so it's 516s. Um, pretty light ground here compared to Rantoul, so it should be, it should handle it fine. Pretty much everyone's gotten away from old board plowing just because um, it completely turns the soil over and leaves nothing on top, and then if you have high winds or a lot of water it washes all your soil away so the only time we really use the plow is if we're taking like ground like this out of grass production and putting it back into row crops or when we go to farm shows you don't really see it very much anymore
used to stack bales along here and must have not got it all picked up. So I've got to clean that out. Looks like it's doing a pretty good job though. coolness factor there's not a lot that's cooler than a 1206 and a moldboard plow the cows are like hey what are you doing to all our hay of a tough spot down here in the corner but the old 1206 just doesn't give up It was tough. It's a little damp down there. Look at that beautiful organic matter after 10 years of hay. This is going to grow some really good crops for at least a year or two. What gear were you in? Low third, stick ahead. Low third? 
Well, I think that's going to do it for this video. I don't think Dad was planning on plowing this whole thing tonight. He just wanted to make sure everything was going to work out. So um, we kind of took a break from harvest for today to catch up on some small things, which was good. We got the air seeder working, got one field planted. Uh, still got to figure out some settings on that thing, but I think we'll we'll get it figured out. Um, Hope you enjoyed this video. I always enjoy watching videos of tractors plowing. I really like going to Rantoul and seeing all those old tractors plow. And like I said, you can't get any better than 1206 on a plow. It's just, it's just straight up cool. Dad will probably work on plowing this the rest of the day tomorrow and we'll see what happens next week. Um, I'm really bummed that that SD card corrupted. So I didn't get any more soybean harvest videos. Um, so that kind of stinks, but Oh well, we'll just keep going. We still got pretty much all our corn left. We only have, here comes the dogs. We only have 30 acres of corn out. So we have a lot of corn left to pick, plenty of videos to come, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, we'll keep the videos coming. So anyways, if you liked the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.